Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's my birthday! It's my birthday! Part 3. As you can see in front of you, the only figure on the table is Sir Harold H. Porkins III. Because uh, he's basically a channel mascot. But since it is my birthday, and I like to treat myself extra special on my birthday. With the help of my man Ish, I bought my very first Mythic Legions figure. Oh, oh, oh shit. Get ready, everybody. This one's gonna take a while. <laughs> This beautiful looking dude right here. See him in the package here. There's the side. Barbarian Builder Set. This is going to be fun. We'll go through everything that's got in it. It's by uh, Four Horsemen. To see the entire collection, please visit mythiclegions.com. I got the credits down there. Mythiclegions.com. Uh, let's see what it says. I can't read it upside down today. Sourcehorseman.com. Storehorseman.com. Yeah, Made in China. Four Horsemen LLC. Don't feed the children. It's got a crazy big write up here. One, two, three, and a bit paragraphs. I'm not going to read that because that's going to be a long video. All in itself. But his background looks amazing. He's got his own world. But I'm going to make my own world out of this guy I don't have a name for him just yet but I'll come up with one I was thinking of a few earlier but hadn't quite nailed one down we're gonna take this guy out of the package we're gonna take a look at all the amazing accessories that came along with him There's an awesome looking background. Look, it's sick as hell. Mythiclegions.com, SourceHorseman.com, StoreHorseman.com. Four Horsemen are the uh, designers, sculptors, all that fun stuff. We're going to set this tray to the side because this is one I'm definitely not uh, throwing out. Separate the cradle. Let's look at him in his package here. Yeah, this guy is awesome already. We're going to go over all the accessories, all the articulation, all the weapons. As a matter of fact, let's look at the weapons first. A separate tray of weapons here. We're going to go left to right. They are taped together. I get the edge here. Eh, eh, ah, damn it, the hell. That's cutting plastic, not tape. What the hell? Like the world's strongest little fucking strip of tape. But since I decided to open it in that manner, I forge on. There we go. Three sides of that are open. From left to right, 
we have a beautiful spear. Very long. It's got some heft. Got some flex to it. I love the design of the spearhead. Painted in a painted or molded in a gray silver plastic. The shaft is uh, bronze paint there. Kind of looks like a metal shaft. Let's take a look at the long sword. Let's see. I'd say that's a two hand, or at the very least a hand and a half. Other folks will have better names for the type of sword, but that's just a big fucking sword. Crazy design. Striped uh, handle there. Like it's got uh, a wire wrapped handle. The pommel, the cross guard, all out of the bronzy, goldy plastic or paint the sword blade kind of leaf shaped a little bit flares at the end before it dives back to the tip it's got the blood groove or fuller very nicely done it is slightly flexible but if you bend it too much it will snap we have what I would call Crusader sword, maybe. Let me get it up in the camera here. It is also made of the same color plastic and paint, different designs. Got the pommel down here, ribbed handle, flares up to the cross guard. The blade looks straight, but it actually slow tapers to the end where it dives to the point very nice and we have what some would call a short sword what I'm going to call a dagger basically the same overall design scheme as that shares kind of a profile with that one very cool. <laughs> this motherfucker. Let me get this thing out of here. Couldn't see this because it was behind him. But this guy comes with the damn pipe. At least that's what I'm going to call that. That looks like a damn pipe to me. If it's not a pipe. It is now. I'm going to take a look at the shield next. The shield has a peg in the back. I guess it just pegs right onto his arm. Painted bronzy, much like the handles. Weathered looking bronzy gold on the outside. A little dingy. I dig it. Love the look of that. Take a look at this giant axe that you can't see, but you will in a minute. This massive dwarf-like axe. Dwarven axe. <laughs> Sculpted very well. Giant fat um, diamond pommel there. Which pops right off. Maybe that pops on there. Who knows? I feel like that uh, is supposed to do something. But each section is sculpted differently. All made with the same style plastic. Ah. Oh, you could have 
a single bladed monster axe or if you take that cap off you can put this other matching blade on and have a beautifully barbaric double bladed battle axe hell yes that cap comes off as well maybe you can add things to it who knows we're gonna snug that back on for now that is wicked and next we've got these these are bat wing attachments for one of his helmets they're sculpted out of dark plastic and painted with the slightly pearly dark bronze. That's what I'm going to call it. That's wicked looking. Put those over there. And we've got a pair of beautifully sculpted and multicolor painted pair of wings from some mythical bird i want to call it eagle's wings those are very cool i don't know which one i'm going to prefer but we shall find out Put the accessory tray to the side. We're gonna look at this piece here. This is the skirted piece. This is belt armor, skirted thigh flaps. Very cool. So if you want, if you prefer this one over that one, you pop it in half. Put that one on. Hell yeah, belt two. He's got shoulder armor, pauldrons. Very cool. Very nicely sculpted. Look like multi plate armor. Lozenges painted in bronze. We'll figure out how these go on in a minute. Has L for left, R for right. Whoa, that's crazy looking. The hell is this thing? I guess that's a helmet. You can place that on there. You know what? This is exciting. The, the sculpt on these things are very, very cool. Jesus, can't get a hold on these things. Two of those. One for one side, one for the other, perhaps. We're going to figure all that out in a minute. This helmet is essentially a whole second head. Fully plate armored. Eye slits. No eye paints in there. Pop that right on the ball. Let's just throw... So eagle wings on there, just as an example. 
Let's see, are they left and right situation? <laughs> Looks like it'd be a snug fit. Oh, that's wicked. Let's get this other one on there and see how that looks. That's pretty fucking cool. That's just one pair of what turns out to be five pairs of horns or helmet attachments for this guy. Still haven't come up with a name yet. Hmm. Kind of have one in mind. I'm mulling it over. Ah, the the sporin kilted skirted loincloth piece with straps nicely sculpted and painted. Looks like it pegs right in somewhere. Let's get. <laughs> Oh, this beautiful antler here. I I may have to go with one of these. Wow. That's awesome. The other one is matched to it. So that would look something like this. Oh, yeah. The detail on this guy. Or these pieces are very nice. He's got some immense horns. And go on there. Barbarians can't be barbarians without horns. You could have them up forward, you could have them down. Oh, yeah. Now you could probably switch them around the other direction. They're about the same. Ooh, it has started raining, folks. Well, one of those is taped in and the other one is not. That's weird. Kniff, to the rescue. And these ones are more, more like ram's horns. Small ram's horns, barbarian horns. But that's all the accessories, guys. Let's get this guy out of here. He is twisty tied in. So we are gonna untwist that and then we're gonna untwist this other one Single pitch. the twist tie has defeated me Right. We're going to leave that attached to one side because we want to keep it. Ooh. He is free! Okay, so it's done. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> now the head is you know I'm gonna we're gonna pop this off and look at just the head. 
is basically a beard attached to a fucking helmet. <laughs> it sits high on the peg. So, but the helmet, very similar to this one in overall design. Except that I prefer the one with the beard attached. It's got these decorations to the sides of the crest. Go down the face guard. Painted in a nice bronze. Plus, who doesn't love a beard? There's sculpting all over this beard. It's got braids in it. They even sculpted the underbeard. Let's put his head back on and take a look. Let's take a look at his torso. This guy is ripped like a motherfucker. Peg holes in the back. So I'm assuming that's what those are for. Put the giant massive shoulder armor on. And that peg right there. What is that one for? Does anything match that one? I don't see anything that matches that one. Hmm. If you know what if you know what the rectangular hole in his back is for, folks, let me know. Okay, let's get his head back on. Oh, that's not his head, that's his head. Provides a lot of side to side for looking around. Looks funny from that angle. Looks funny from the back, but when you get the shoulder pauldrons on there, you probably won't even see that. The paint is pretty well put on there. Looks like you can probably scratch it if you screw around with it. But while this guy is ripped, he's got nipples. <laughs> Moving the arms ever so carefully. You can creak it up to just about 90. Full rotation all the way around on both sides. No bicep cut, but there is a rotation at the elbow. There's rotation at the gauntlet there. I can change the angle of it. And keep this damn thing on camera. Keep moving it closer to my face so I can see it better. <laughs> but it's blocking your view. There is a forward and back swivel to the wrist. Which does also rotate in there. The sculpt on these arms and gauntlet pieces are very, damn I did it again, very good. This piece, this belt that goes around is free floating. You can have that strap pretty much going anywhere. You can full rotate all the way around if you wanted to. Let's see. Take the head off. I'm assuming the body comes apart. Oh, there it is. The body is on a giant peg there. So you can take that whole, all these pieces off here. I really like this one though. But you can switch it to this one pretty easily. 
Pop that right over there. Slide that piece there. That pegs in. Like that. Slide that over top. That's a pretty good look too, actually. But that one, you can see the hip articulation. Unless it's backwards. No, that's probably right. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Put this one back on. Because I like that one. Let's see which one do I like more. I think this one matches that better. So let's put that there. See, with them apart like that, you can see the articulation in the hips. That's going to look really weird. If that's the still frame. Well, let's get him back together then. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the one. Click. Nice solid click. Headless body. That one looks funny without the beard. I didn't even get to the leg articulation yet. There's a massive thigh pivot on both single jointed knee, but you get pretty good range of motion. And there's a pivot. There's a ball in the feet. And you get rocker. It is the same for this side. That one's tighter. All right. A little paint flex all over the table. Let's see. Let's see what he looks like with the pauldron on. That looks crazy, doesn't it? Mismatch sizes. Why not? I'm discovering, folks. I'm discovering. Isn't it fun to watch? Yeah, I think I, I think I like those ones so far. Antlers? No, uh, these shoulder pads. These pauldrons. I think I like them over the giant chunky ones. Yeah. yeah. Let's get this bearded head back on there. Oh, hell yeah. You know, let's see if he stands. Oh, he stands quite well on these. Big old flat feet. Oh yeah. I'm liking this guy, guys. Yeah. Let's see. Where does a shield attach? Is that... Ha ha ha! I've discovered what it is. It's not a pipe. It's the handle to the fucking shield. <laughs> but you can forgive me, folks, because that looks like a pipe. It just snugs right on that peg. Nice.
that would look very nice on the shelf. Let's see. Hmm. Let's check out the antlers. I'm basically playing at this point, folks. Hope you like watching a man enjoy himself. <laughs> that sounded perverted. That looks like fucking Odin. These, look at these antlers, babe. Can you see these antlers from across the room? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's wicked. Let's try. Let's see what the horn looks like. Yeah. Some marauding horns. <laughs> Classic barbarian horns. I'd say these classic barbarian horns are more is at home, doesn't want to stab his children in the face when he leans over to hug them horns. Or not. You know. If you got the figures, your world, do what you want. Yeah. Let's see. You know, let's do the the winged horns. That's very Thor. I think we might have a winner for the time being, folks. Oh yeah, the winged horns. Let's get a let's get some weapons in his hands. Most of my guys have swords. Let's get this spear in his hand. Holds that spear quite nicely. You can work the two-handed grip if you get the angle right. But this is pretty much a... Don't fuck with me or I'll spear you in the face. Kind of guy here. Change the angle back so you can see him better. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The shield. That's nice. That's nice. Let's see. I'm trying to find just the right look for this guy. I think the shield, or not the shield, the uh, spear all by itself actually looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, that's on the floor now. Let's play with the sword, shall we? <laughs> fingers on this guy are pretty tight
Oh yeah. That's a beautiful look right there. That's me if I put uh, a couple months into my body. <laughs> Let's see what he looks like with the shield in his hand. That is wicked. You know, folks, with that thunder coming in and me just basically playing, I'm going to go ahead and call it here and say that uh, Mythic Legions are fucking cool. This guy has so many options, mix and match options. But for now, winged helmet, bearded head, long sword, shield. That's that's how he's gonna be for the time being, folks. Let's put his name though. He doesn't have a name. I, I want to make him a blacksmith. So I need I need hammers. Anvil, bellows, a forge. So I, I think, uh, I think his name is gonna be Varus. Yeah, from a book series. I'm not gonna say which one. Just cause you know it's more fun for me that way. But his name is Varus. Pronounced Varus on a audio book, not Varus. So that's what I'm going to go with. His name is Varus. Yep. Varus the Barbarian, Viking, whatever the hell warrior. Yeah. So yeah, somebody find me. Battle axe, not battle axe, all kinds of hammers, forging hammers, war hammers. I need a anvil. Yes, I, I need all that. Find me that. 3D print me that, whatever you want to do. Send it to me. Tell me you want to send it and get hold of me somehow. I want it. Give it to me. <laughs> okay. Mythic Legions, not cheap. Details are amazing. Accessories are exquisite. Deuces.